Hello there again, Harlows, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm just going to be showing a brief little bit of gameplay of the update that Lords of the Fallen has received today, which is supposed to make the performance of the game better. At what cost, I have to ask. The performance of the game has been made better, yes. However, bear in mind that the footage you're seeing is on the quality setting, not the performance setting. The performance setting is supposed to prioritize frame rates. The quality setting is, is supposed to prioritize graphics. Now, just I mean, just look at the footage that I'm showing on the screen here. Really, I mean, <laughs> it says it all. The the graphics in some places are absolutely horrendous. The popping is absolutely terrible. Um, and honestly, the performance of this game is just... The, the, the legacy is continuing. I did say in my video I uploaded earlier today that this is going to take multiple patches to sort this out. Now, there are some parts of the game which do look good. And then you walk a couple of feet and then you get a texture like this, which just looks horrendous. And I'm standing right next to these textures and they look absolutely horrendous. Sometimes the proper correct texture will just pop in for a second and then go out again. And I don't understand what is going on here. This game is clearly horrendously optimized. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, no testing has clearly been done on console versions of this game. I mean, literally, there has to be no testing because it is absolutely appalling. The, the performance and just everything. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I really do not recommend people buy this game currently. There's definitely a good game here that could potentially be found in several patches time. But the performance, if you're not on PC, is horrendous. Now, on PC, I've heard that people who do have pretty strong PCs are getting a pretty good experience out of this game. And they're getting, you know, someone said that they are running it at like 4K, 120 frames per second or whatever, and it's been completely smooth on their $2,000 PC. Well, good for you. But most people don't have a $2,000 PC, do they? So we are subjected to these atrocious graphics on consoles. The Xbox Series X, for example, is the strongest console on the market. It's stronger than the PS5, stronger than all these other stuff. Unfortunately, Xbox has got the issue of having the Xbox Series S, which is a weaker version, but still, realistically, the Xbox Series X should not be having graphics like this that look like they're from the Xbox 360 era of gaming. I mean, unfortunately, this has just massively tarnished my experience with Lords of the Fallen. I don't really know if I want to carry on playing the game, no matter how good it is, if this is what the developers think that we should be putting up with on day one of the game coming out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good one.